I'm Sonu Kun Kun. I work with Panduit uh, as a strategic account manager specializing in the co-location uh, market. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoy coming to Data Center Dynamics. This is my third one this year. I went to New York, San Francisco, and now this. Um, it's, been, it's always a wonderful experience and get some great insights into where the industry's going and the visions some of the top uh, leading thinkers are thinking about uh, where it should be going and some of the difficulties we're facing. I think the insights that the uh, co-location uh, uh, vendors provided in terms of um, you know, how they see them fitting into the, the compute architecture, how the changes have happened over the decades, uh, that, that was very nicely done. Uh, um, Mr. Uh, was it Batra from uh, Equinix, yes. he, his infographics were very easy to digest and uh, really, you know, it, it really uh, clarified how co-location is a very integral part of the compute systems moving forward. Various co-locations uh, provide services to various uh, clients with various needs depending on their digital business strategies. Yeah. So picking the right one is either going to uh, enable or prohibit them in the long run. Got to keep an eye on the market, how the market is moving. Definitely the, the, the compute, uh, we know it's going to get bigger, how it, uh, how it moves between enterprise co-location and the cloud, how those three interplay with each other. Uh, we just have to keep on top of it, make sure uh, we're in line uh, as a, as a uh, provider to you know, ensure uh, our growth in the future. Well, it's on many fronts. So one is uh, you get to network and inter interact with people that are who's who in the industry. Yeah. Uh, some top C-level folks uh, in the brand name uh, co-location providers and yeah. different sectors. Uh, you also get to discuss and uh, really let your uh, imagination go, uh, go wild into you know what if we could do this. Uh, especially in the big idea sec uh, sessions, yes. uh, that's quite uh, that's quite good, um, and and also uh, it, it's good to see the folks that we're providing solutions to uh, hear them say, okay, these are this is how we see the market changing, so we're in line with them, and that's of high value to definitely Panduit. You can only grow if you go outside your comfort zone. So uh, Bruce Taylor, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Bruce, and he he's right on the money there. I mean, you have to. If you want to grow, you have to go outside your comfort zone and, and even innovate. You have to go outside your comfort zone and think about what if it was done this way or, or, or really absorb in all the discussions that are happening here and how can you make some people's life easier or better uh, as, as a solution provider. Because coming to uh, uh, a lot of these DCDs, like I've kind of been keeping up with what's, you know, what the buzzwords are and what people are talking about. So I've been kind of current on, the, on that front. However, it does spark up like, you know, why, like for instance, the edge, the, uh, you know, what is the edge? So, you know, I was, I was perhaps going to bring it up in the uh, big idea session is why do we call it the edge? Why don't we call it, you know, uh, uh, like, like a node, uh, a node and uh, with a different degree of a node inside of a, a, like a mesh network, because it's all about, like one gentleman said, it's all about the network. So an edge data center is essentially a node in the network. So, you know, it kind of, it spawns different ways of looking at things. So the value of DCD to me is, is the ability to have insights into what's going on today from providers and consumers perspective, mm -hmm. and also in addition to what is, what they're thinking moving ahead yes. and where they see the market going ahead and that's great insights uh, for our company to position ourselves into the future.